Good morning, RGS learners. All right, today we are going to be learning about Lily Wool. Lily Wool. Oh, she's such a stinker, but she is so cute. All right, let's learn about Lily. She's a little sheep. Yeah, so cute. All right, let's start way over here. We're on K17, Lily Wool. Now, our vocab words today are literature, because Lily Wool is a book, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. We're going to talk about neutral colors, actual texture, mixed media, and imagination. So literature is our inspiration today. The book Lily Wool by Paula Vasquez, and that's the story that you heard first on the video. Now, neutral colors. The neutral colors are the colors we will be using for Lily. We'll be using gray, white, and some black. So her body is designed with neutral colors. Actual texture. We will be using cotton balls, if you have them, to give Lily's body some fuzzy texture, and mixed media. When we use more than one art media, we call it mixed media. So we'll be using paper, cotton balls, crayons or markers, glue, scissors, and then imagination. Lily Wool has a wonderful imagination. She imagines all sorts of creative things. And I'm not going to tell you what they are because I want you to listen to the story. But we are going to be using our imagination also. So grab your art packet. And you should actually have several pieces of paper left because we didn't need to use all of them so far. So what I want you to grab today is you should have a half a sheet of gray a full sheet of orange, a full sheet of light, light green, like a mint green, and then you should have another full sheet of white. So, orange, mint green, white, and then a half a sheet of gray. And that should all be in your art packet, okay? So go and get those. And you will also need a pencil, your glue bottle today. You can also use a glue stick if that's what you have. And you will need scissors. And then either crayons or markers. You can use either one. All right. Go get your supplies. And I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, friends, I'm back. So this is how we are going to start. You can cut your white piece of paper in half or you can fold it because you will only be using half today. So half a sheet of white and then your half sheet of gray. We are going to draw Lily Wool's body first. You may use a crayon or a pencil, a marker, whatever you'd like to do to draw her body. So your, her body is going to be a great big oval shape on the half sheet of white paper. Try to fill up that white paper. And then on the gray paper, I want you to think about making an egg shape. Do you see how if I turn that, it looks like an egg? So on that gray paper, you want the egg shape, that will be Lily's head, and then two leaf shapes. Okay, they look just like leaves. All right, awesome. Now, you wanna cut these out. Remember, it helps if you open your scissors all the way, as 
open as you can get them. Open, open, open. Okay, and then cut out cute little Lily Wold's body. Now, the good thing about this video is, after you read the story, the teacher who's reading the story also is demonstrating how to create Lily Wool. So, you can watch her video, or you can watch mine, or you can watch both. I know sometimes it's nice to see your teacher. And since I haven't seen you this year, you might want to see me. Okay, now we're going to take the body, put a little spiral line of glue on the back. So you're going to set the body down. Okay, next is the head. Oh, Lily has a big fun head. This is a fun project. Okay, take the first ear. Okay, I'm going to place it down like that. And then the second ear, you can cut it in half or a little bit more maybe than half. Because the second ear is going to be behind. And then this little piece is the tail. See how perfectly that works out? So perfect. All right. Then I'm going to close up my glue bottle. All right. Now cute little Lily Wool. She's so cute. All right. Now, you may take a marker or crayons. Remember I said you could use whatever you want for this project. So I might grab my marker. I'm going to give Lily some cute little eyelashes and a big smile because she is so happy. She's so proud of herself. You can take pink and give her a cute little cheek. I might get a darker pink here. Yeah, give her a cute little rosy, rosy cheek. Yeah, she's so cute. And then I'm gonna take my marker again. And remember Lily, this is, we're just using our imagination here with Lily. So, of course, Lily is not drawn exactly like a real sheep or a real lamb. Okay, she's more of a cartoon looking sheep or lamb from our imagination. Okay, now before we go any further, we're going to draw the wool line. And again, you can use a crayon or a marker. And that wool, remember that wool was going everywhere. So I want you to have fun making a line all the way around your paper. Okay, stop at the ear though and then start up again and just have fun with your line, your wool line and then connect it at the top. Oh Lily, she's so, so very cute. Alright, now you can make her, her arms and her little hand. One's going to come from the back. So you can make them just like that. And she's going to be holding, just like in the story, either a pair of pants or a shirt. So with your green piece of paper, you don't actually need the whole sheet. So I'm just going to cut the corner off so I can make a shirt or a pair of pants. So it's your creative choice if you would like to make a shirt or a pair of pants. I might make a pair of pants. So 
I'm going to take my crayon now. So it's a little bit of a diagonal line. Straight line, straight line. And then it looks like I might be drawing an upside down letter V. Okay. So that's my pair of pants. And maybe you want to add some detail to your pants. Maybe I want my pants to have stripes. Ah! Those are cute. Cute little striped pants. Maybe you even want to add some details to the top or the bottom. Then you want to cut out the pants. Oh, Lily Wool. She was a silly little lamb. All right, and then you want to put a little bit of glue on the pants. And you can put them in Lily's hands like that. So she's holding them up. All right. There is our very cute Lily Wool. I hope you like this story and this project. <gasps> Bye, boys and girls. And remember, every day is a great day to be creative.